So this morning I went to one of my absolute favorite places. It's called Hitchcock Woods. It's located in my hometown of Aiken, South Carolina. I think it rivals Central Park in New York City as far as square acreage and what you can find there. And I went there with the intention of filming a video. Uh, it's something that I decided on making when I realized that I had gotten the R and it was a comparison of the R versus the RP. Um, I got into the woods, I got everything set up, I even did my intro there. And I started walking around and I started planning the shots that I wanted to get and I began to second guess myself. I realized that this video, uh, the comparison between the R and the RP, it's been done. It's been done thousands of times. You can actually look at my YouTube uh, browsing history and you can see where I've seen what other people put these cameras through to get the ideas. Uh, whether it's making coffee, whether it's brewing beer, whether it is just walking around a hometown. And I got discouraged because I realized that I was just doing something that's already been done and it's already been done a lot recently. And so that meant that it probably wasn't gonna get the views that I would want. So I scrapped the idea. I stopped filming uh, with that intention. I put the RP away. I put the uh, other lenses that I was gonna use and I just put the 70 to 200 lens on the R. And I just started doing one of my absolute favorite things when I'm frustrated, when I feel beat down, when I'm not feeling as creative as I feel like I should be. And I just started walking around Hitchcock Woods. So as I was walking around, I had the R with the 70 to 200 on, and I was hoping that a couple things would happen. One, I was hoping that I'd stumble across uh, something really great to photograph. Sometimes that is just the way to do it. You just go out, you kind of hope for the best, and if you get something, you get something. If not, well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I was kind of hoping maybe some inspiration would happen. There's some beautiful areas, even in the winter, uh, with no leaves and a kind of a drab feel. You can still find a couple dams. You can find some beavers. Can... So I was hoping that maybe I'd be able to salvage a video and get some fun video of something nature going on and do some little B-roll around it. Maybe I could find a way to do a tutorial or something and talk about how I set up a shot when I find it and I'm just having no absolute luck. I did uh, stumble across a couple of hawks and one of them happened to be in the perfect spot. He flew down, landed on a branch and I didn't really pay attention. I saw him fly and I didn't really pay attention to where he uh, landed. But if I had just been paying attention enough, I had the settings all ready to go. The camera was on. All I had to do was go, oh, hello, Mr. Hawk, raise, snap and go. But I didn't and so the morning was, morning was essentially a bust and I didn't, walk away with anything. I didn't, I don't have any photos that I really want to share. I don't have any video or insights that I wanted to share, but honestly, that's one of the best parts about photography, about just the run and gun filming, the photographing, that kind of thing. There are days where you go out and you get some amazing shots in Hitchcock. I've been, you know, really lucky to come across a red tail hawk sitting on a branch where I was able to get him. Uh, I came across a raccoon several years ago, hiding and peeking around a, a tree. I've seen dogs, I've seen otters, uh, I've seen all sorts of things. And while it's great to be prepared, you can have all the settings ready to go for the environment you're in, it really does come down to a bit of luck. And that's kind of what I'm also experiencing here with YouTube is you can make some of the best videos. And I'm not by any stretch of imagination saying that my videos are the best. They are not the quality of Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat, Matty Hapoya, Peter Lindgren, those kind of people. They are not at that level. Trust me, I know that. But I've had some limited success here on YouTube, including getting 40,000 views and a ton of likes on my video review of the DJI Mini 2. And when you get that kind of success on one video, you think, man, I'm starting, to, I'm turning that corner. The next one's gonna get just as much, or you know, I'm gonna be right there. And the subscribers came in. I went from 25 to I think I'm just over 460 now. And that's all well and good, but you start to kind of look at that and you think, okay, you're turning the corner, you're turning the corner, this is easy, I can do this. And then you have several weeks where the analytics just nosedive and you don't add a whole lot of subscribers, you don't add a whole lot of views. You put out five or six more videos and they just absolute flop. Um, you get some negative comments and you start getting in your mind. And Photography is very much the same way. You can go some places and like the Golden Gate Bridge and you'll get amazing shots no matter what. But then there are those days where you can go to the most amazing places. You can go somewhere like Hitchcock with every intention of getting an amazing shot, 
But if it's just not your day, it's just not your day. And it does take a, a considerable amount of luck. Again, like I said, I'm not taking away that there is talent. You need to know how to set up your camera. You need to know, uh, you need to know how to frame up the shots and all that kind of thing. But when it comes to photography of nature, like I said, I feel like I wasted the morning, but it was just nice to just walk around Hitchcock Woods and listen to the thousands of woodpeckers it felt like. I did end the walk by petting a huge pack of collies and setters and some other dogs. Uh, so that was fun and that helped lower my blood pressure. But it's still a little frustrating to think that, you know, you go out with the intention of filming something and it just doesn't work out. So then you try and salvage it by just having fun and doing what it is that you think you do. And that doesn't work out. And so it's frustrating. And I just felt like sharing that frustration because maybe you are going through the same thing. It could be your job. It could be your family. It could be your friends. It could be something like that where something just right now isn't going as well as you had hoped or as well as it had been. You hit a little bump and the law of averages, it's going to average out. And so just got to remind myself and I got to, and I like to remind other people that, you know, sometimes you get the great shots. Sometimes you are lucky. Sometimes you're not so lucky but the you know the bottom line is just to continue having fun and to kind of look at it the right way and for me the way to look at this right now is that I have had some pretty good success with this channel and I'm really excited about what I can hopefully do in 2022 whether it be with my channel whether it's hope hopefully helping John out with some of his videos as well just being creative and having fun but I got to look at it and say, you know, this morning I got to go walk in one of, like I said, one of my favorite places. I got to go looking for a shot that it didn't, un it unfortunately didn't materialize, but I still had a great time. It was still better than being chained to a desk. It was still better than, you know, any number of things that I could have been doing. So I just decided that based off of what I'm feeling the last few days, the last couple weeks, really, just wanted to share those thoughts with you. And I know there's a couple of you that'll probably give me an eye roll emoji, a thumbs down, whatever. Um, like I said, I never really got into this with the intention of making money, of becoming Peter McKinnon, anything like that. I, I initially started this YouTube channel as a place to put my reels, to put my projects that I was proud of that I've uh, done. And then I saw what some others, some, especially my friend John has done. And I was like, well, I want to give this a try. It looks like fun. He's enjoying this. And so that's what this is. This is about having fun. And I just need to remind myself that it's not about getting the most likes. It's not about getting the most subscribers, even though that all is fun and is part of it, but it's about making content, having fun and just doing that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'll leave you with today. And Hopefully I will be able to come up with something more creative that y'all will actually enjoy soon.